Hey, what's up, beautiful people? My name is Rita, and this is Fancy Financials. All right, guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Again, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rita, and on this channel, we are all about building our wealth at home by budgeting and saving via our cash envelope systems. So today's video is going to be a daily cash check-in of our daily cash spending, um, as well as an unstuffing of any cash that we need to reimburse ourselves with back to our debit account, buffer, our credit card, um, or whatever you have it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You guys see that I have my budget book day fancy. Um, so I'm excited. I was able to start tracking my um, expenditures <laughs> or my transactions in here. So we're gonna use this today as a reference. Um, let me actually grab my highlighters because I want to use them for marking off, um, you know, once I pay myself back for a transaction, then I'm going to mark it off in a specific color, probably yellow for things that I actually needed and pink for things that were want purchases, not necessarily a need. So let me grab those items and then we're going to jump right in. All right, guys. So first things first, the first transaction that we have um, was on April 8th and it was for Chinese food for a total of $40. So if you guys watched my cash stuffing video, then you guys will know um, I had paid for that ahead of time in cash before I even did my cash stuffing. So that's why we only ended up doing um, $310 in our grocery envelope instead of the $350 that we normally do. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off as paid. I'm not sure if I want to like highlight the whole thing or if I just want to do this box right here. Mm. All right, let's just highlight the whole thing. All right, cool. Okay, so next up we have grocery. So on April 10th, we spent $241 at, um, it was actually ShopRite. I put both because I couldn't remember which one, but it was um, ShopRite. And then we have another grocery expense down here on the 13th for $28. And that was for eating out. Um, so we have this large one that needs to go back to our credit card. We have the smaller one that needs to go back to our buffer account. And then let's see, grocery for $9. That one was spent in cash. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight this cash one just so that we know that that one's already taken care of. Um, and then it looks like what we need to do is do $241 plus the $28 that we spent eating out. And that is $269, or we're just going to go ahead and say $270 that we want to give ourselves back. So let me move these things out of the way. And let's see how much we have in grocery. So remember, we started off with $310. We spent $9 in cash. So we have 100, 200, 2, 4, 6, 8, 301. And we owe ourselves 270. So I'm just gonna do 200, 2, 4, 6. Uh, let's make a little change really quick. I'm just gonna use my miscellaneous money. I'm just gonna trade two tens for a 20 there. Okay, and then now it should be 70. 100, 200, 2, 4, 6, and 70. And then that leaves us with 20, 30, $1 left in our grocery envelope. Those were both needs, so they're going to get highlighted in yellow. Okay, so next up, household items. We did not spend anything from our household category yet. Next up is fur babies. So we did have a pet expense on the 11th and that came to a total of $14. And that needs to go back into our buffer account. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So we have 25. So let's go ahead and just do... 15. Mm, I don't have two tens. Oh, yes, I do. Do I have two tens? No, I don't have two tens. All right. Let's make some change again. Okay, so I had some other money that still needs to go back to the bank. So I was able to actually just break this down 
um, a lot so that I could give myself the exact amount that's owed, which is 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 bucks. And that is going back onto our buffer account. Yes, back onto our buffer account. So that leaves us with 10, 11 dollars left in for babies. All right, guys, so I'm actually gonna separate these into two piles. So I know that it was the $14 from pets that needs to go back into our buffer account. And then also from our buffer account was $28 in groceries. So we're just gonna say 30 for the sake of it. <laughs> and then that leaves the 240 bucks. So that 241, we're just missing a dollar. That's gonna go back into our a credit card so we have a credit card reimbursement pile and then we also have our banking account um, buffer so for those of you who don't know I still do hold some cash in my checking account as a buffer um, that I can use um, immediately you know maybe before I do my cash stuffing video I need to buy something I just use the money in my buffer account and then I pay myself back or for emergencies as well um, I try to deplete my buffer account at the end of every month and put that towards joint investments in me and my husband's joint account um, so yeah, just wanted to explain the buffer account really quickly, but let's jump right back in. So we just did our fur babies. Next is going to be gas, and we do have a gas expense of $50. Um, I was really excited when it landed on 50. I still had a little bit of gas in my car when I filled up, but $50 is the lowest fill up that I've had in a few weeks. So um, lucky us, we have some $50 bills. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the 50 and that is going back on our credit card. So it's gonna go in this pile right here. I'll organize that later. Um, so left in gas, we have 50, 60 and 70 bucks left in gas. Okay, you guys know that there was nothing in nail salon. Um, dollar blessings, we did give away some ones this week. So we currently have $2 left in blessings. So we're gonna put those right back in there so that we can get those to somebody else. Um, and then for our miscellaneous spending, we did go ahead and spend $30 on some personal items and that came out of our buffer account. So I need to go ahead and pay that back. Um, before I forget, let me just highlight gas. Oh, and pets. I forgot to highlight pets as well. I'm glad that I'm seeing lots of yellow because that means that these were all things that I needed. Although these personal items were more of a want. So we give ourselves $40 and we need 30 of it. So that leaves us with $10 in our miscellaneous spending. And we're gonna put this 30 towards our buffer account. All right, and then that's gonna get a pink highlight. All right, so next up, we're gonna jump into our sinking funds binder um, because all of these other categories are sinking funds. So that is it for our daily cash spending. All right, guys, so I have my sinking funds binder here. So the first thing that we need to take a look at is this allowance. Um, in the amount of $40. So my son got his report card money and he has already spent a whopping $40 of it. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> they earned it and he's been waiting to spend it. So I just let him do it. But um, yeah, I forgot to show you guys my last video. They made my kids these cute little allowance envelopes. So they have their everything school and that's where, you know, I stuff money for allowance and report cards and all of that stuff. But then I made them these little envelopes here that actually just pull out like this. That way I can stuff their allowance and then just give it to them. Um, and then also when they owe me money, um, I can use this to just, you know, stuff it away. So my son, he already did give me the $40 for his video games because he was purchasing some stuff for his video games. So when he buys it online, it just comes straight out of my buffer account. So then he gives me um, back the money from his allowance to pay my account back. So it should be 40 bucks. We have 20, 25, he has all these ones. <laughs> 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. All right, so all 40 of that is going to be going back to my buffer account. 
I'm gonna organize all that in a second, guys. And then I'm just gonna put his little his little envelope right back in here. But yeah, so I made one for my daughter, Kimora, um, my son, Keith, and then look at Christopher's. It has trucks and planes and robots. All right. <laughs> all right, so that was definitely a want when it came to his video games. Next up is going to be gym time. So um, I actually did go ahead and set up my first class um, at my new gym. And as I told you guys, I was gonna be paying that first month up front. So this month's membership is going to be $150. So a little bit of a discount from what my normal payment will be, which will be 170. So I did go ahead and sign up for my first class. So they did take that amount out of my buffer account. So I need to go ahead and pay myself back um, the 150. Um, let's use 20s, two, four, six, eight, 100, two, four, and 50. All right, so we have 150 going back towards our buffer account. And you guys will see that I didn't check off whether it was a want or a need, just because, you know, I feel like it's both, but we're just gonna go ahead and highlight it with yellow. We're gonna say it's a need. Okay, and last but not least, we do have our car payment of $605. That, I forgot to actually write it down here because it's the only one that's like a bill versus like just me spending. So I kind of forgot to document it. Um, so I did write it in out of order. But yeah, that came out on the 15th of April. Um, I do auto deduction for my account because I do get like a slight discount um, in my car payment price by doing auto um, payments. So they already took that out. So I need to pay myself back the 605 to my buffer account. Oh, I'm in the wrong binder. I'm like, why can't I find it? Hold on one second. All right guys, so I have the right binder now. So we need the 605 from our car envelope and that should actually be the exact amount that's in here. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 and five bucks. And that is going to go back into our buffer account as well. All right guys, so we have taken care of all of the transactions that we needed to pay ourselves back for. So now let's go ahead and add up these two categories and see how much is going back onto my credit card and how much is going back to my buffer account. Guys, so going back into our buffer account is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 810, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73. $873 it is what's going back into our buffer account. And then going back into our debit account, or excuse me, our credit card is 100, 200, 50, 70, 90. 290 bucks. All right, so that is the end of this video. We've paid back all of our expenses that we officially started tracking again as of this week. So again, I'm excited to get this money back into my buffer account because it definitely was starting to dwindle. Um, and then of course we wanna pay back our credit card ASAP um, to make sure that we keep that balance down and don't cause any additional interest that does not need to grow on our card. I hope you guys like this video. I will be posting another check-in next week and our second check-in of each paycheck is also where we see how much money we have left over that we can stuff into our savings challenges. So I hope to see you guys over at that video as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. What did I say? <laughs>